Alrighty, hey there guys, Adrian Acosta here, aka JediBro95, coming at you guys with another video. And in this video is going to be a Madden 21 update, talking about tomorrow's Series 5 update. So it is confirmed, it will be coming out tomorrow. Uh, I know last week on the Good Morning Madden stream, they did say that they were looking to get it out by this Friday. It is it is confirmed, it will be coming out tomorrow. So these, this is going to be everything with new with the Series 5 five update as well as i'm going to be going over actually some content that i have missed because i have been focusing on other con other videos uh and there have been a few things that have dropped in madden 21 recently for for cards and for um updates that i never really got to uh so with that being said uh series 5 update is tomorrow uh there will be 81 to 90 in terms of mutt level so uh, i heard some people we're saying that it could go to 85. I didn't think that. I always thought it was going to go to 90 because that's how they've been doing the series updates is they've been doing from, you know, like, for example, when they brought in series, uh, whenever they brought, whatever series it was that when they went from 50 to 51 to 50 to 60, 51 to 60, you know, they did it by not that. So, and they continue to go like that. Also, there's going to be new 32 new theme builders tomorrow. They're going to be 92 overalls. Uh, this one took me by surprise. I had no idea that this was a plan. Um, so basically for theme teams, this is going to be a card that you're going to want to seek out, probably going to be revealing those tonight. And I probably will make a video on them, uh, or at least the ones that have been revealed. Uh, also 29 new series Redux players, which I will showcase the screenshot again, just in case you do not know who the, um, series Redux cards are going to be. Um, the new level ma the new level master upgrade is going to be a 96 overall so andre johnson is going to become a 96 uh before chems so really was hoping he'd go up to a 97 but then you know they're probably going to put in a couple more series in throughout the year and then they'll probably have him go up to a 97 or a 98 uh in the next series update which might be the last one because uh with the next uh next thing uh, Mutton Master is going to be a 98 overall, so Sam Mills is going to go up to a 98, uh, tomorrow once you complete two of the Series 4, Series 5 challenges, that's all you have to do, is to get one, the upgrade token, just complete two of the Series 5 challenges, um, don't know what they are yet, um, they could be basically anything, I feel like the Sam Mills one specifically though, I have a hunch they're going to be interceptions, I don't know why, but I feel like they're going to make it like interceptions or they might do like, um, I don't want to say tackles for loss cause they've done that already. They've done tackles. They've done sacks. Um, yeah, I really can't think of what else they could do. Like they probably will do interceptions. Uh, also team captain update is going to go up to a 97. Uh, so for me, my team captain is Anina's Williams. So he'll become a 97 overall, uh, for my starting cornerback. Uh, they'll add a new elite exchange uh, sets for 93, 94, and 95, and 96 overall. And then they're going to have a Coach Madden update. I don't really use Coach. I've never used Coach Madden. Well, I have had Coach Madden, but then I was told it wasn't worth it because he's not, um, you know, you got to get so much series trophies in order to um, get him upgraded. So I was just like, there's no point. Um, also, quick side note, a couple of things. One, be sure to spend your Series 4 trophies today um, by the end of, by the time, of, or at least sometime before the update comes out tomorrow, because the tra the trophies will be cut in half. So if you have 500 tro trophies for Series 4, you'll only get 250 to start Series 5. So spend them all now, uh, get your trophies done. And also, same goes for your mutt level, your mutt master challenges with the uh, Sam Mills, which for this time it was winning games, um, winning like I think it was some number of games with 88 overall team, and then it was um get 50 tackles for loss, not including sacks, um for Sam Mel. So finish those up if you have not done those to get the 125 coin payout. Otherwise it will drop to 30k. Uh, moving on to the next screenshot. Um so this next one, my apologies. This one is just recapping again all of the series Redux cards. So Richard Sherman, Deshaun Jackson, Derek Cook, and Dak Prescott for the team of the weeks. 
Uh, for Legends, you got your Mark Clayton, your Arian Foster, London Fletcher, Warwick Duns. Uh, limited cards, Terry McLaurin, Ladivia Snee, Nick Chubb. You know, these crazy, um, these crazy cards and stuff like that. You know, the, all these cards. And then the Madden Club Championship, uh, Cardinals cards, all are getting series redux cards. And then the two Super Bowl cards and then the career tribute, Phillip Rivers, is getting all series redux. So, the again, if you need to screenshot it on your phone so you remember who all gets a series redux for tomorrow, I will give you another couple of seconds. All right, we're done. Moving on, the next thing I wanted to talk about, uh, you kind of did see it a little bit, but I'll skip right over. Uh, new content has been added to the training variety pack. So if you don't know what that is, uh, the training variety pack is this pack right here, uh, which will allow you to get a 90 overall series redux player, a 90 plus overall series redux, uh, 83 plus legends player, 82 plus team of the week, a coin quick sell, or a new alternate uniform, which they're finally adding. Um, and this is just the new th stuff they've added into the training variety pack. So for Rams, you got the 1960s classic home jersey, the Bengals get the 1970s classic home. Eagles and 49ers get their 1980s classic jerseys for the Eagles. It's away and for the 49ers at home. For us Seahawks guys, it's a 2000s classic alternate jersey. I will be looking to get that as soon as possible. Um, for the Lions, it is the 1990s classic home jersey. And for the Vikings, it is the Color Rush jersey. Now, if I remember the Color Rush jersey correctly for the Vikings, that that jersey is nice. The jer Can I just say, just as a quick side note, the Vikings have some dope ass jerseys they 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 always look amazing um also today's limiteds can be pulled from packs too which um today's limiteds uh if i saw correctly let me just go on to their to the mud head um thing real quick so today's limiteds were Leighton, Leighton Vander Esch, sure, he's a left outside run stopper linebacker, um, looks like a solid card for Cowboys team, um, you know, he's, he looks pretty good, uh, and then the second card was Cortland Sutton, um, wide receiver for the Broncos, uh, these were the two, uh, limited cards that were pulled, that were sent in today, um, so they could be pulled out of the training pack. So that is going to be it, for, I believe, for the content that's come, that came out today for the video. Uh, for well, that came out today. Let me touch over the real quick the flashback cards that came out yesterday because I never did get to these cards. Um, actually, I haven't even done Aaron Rodgers and MVP card yet. Um, but I'm pretty sure you've all seen it, so I'll just showcase it real quick. This is Aaron Rodgers MVP card. You know, like I said, I've showcased it's it's our it's been out for a, about a week, almost a few a week now. So here is Aaron Rodgers' card. Uh, moving on, uh, talk about the new cards. Let's start with um, let's start with Dwayne Brown. Um, us Seahawks guys did get this card as well. We actually got two flashback cards, which I'm ecstatic about. So Dwayne Brown, um, 92 strength, 95 awareness, 94 pass block, 95 pass block power and finesse. 94 run block and run block power and 95 run block finesse. Really good card. Um, I've actually upgraded him to now where he is my starting left tackle. Uh, I just need to get his upgrade card now and he'll be a 97 with all the West Coast chem boost and stuff like that. Um, next is Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, not going to lie, I when I tweeted out that I was making a Patriots theme team, completely forgot that Jimmy Garoppolo was actually a Patriot uh before he became a 49er this card is really good uh 99 79 i said 99 that, that 79 speed 94 throw power 94 short 92 mid and 93 deep accuracy 92 throw under pressure 89 throw on the run which is not very high but then again he is a field general he's not really meant to be throwing on the run and a 95 play action so this card looks pretty good um powered up he does get gunslinger um, and he also does get hot route master. Uh, I saw somebody, some people tweeting out, why does he not get gunslinger and shit like that? And then they happen to realize, wait, if you power him up, everything gets plus one. You do get gunslinger on him. So powered up, he will get gunslinger. So keep that in mind, uh, Patriots fans, um, as well as 49er fans. Um, I don't know if 40, do the 49ers really need this card? 
because they got Joe Montana. But even again, Joe Montana can't get Gunslinger, so you probably will swap out Joe Montana for this card. Next card is Blake Martinez, uh, middle linebacker, run stopper, 88 speed, which is pretty low for uh, a card nowadays. 92 acceleration, 82 strength, 96 tackle, and pl 94 play rec, 93 blockchain and hit power, and 90 and 72 zone coverage. So powered up with run stuff maxed out, you will get 99 block shed and hit power and also play rec. Um, the only thing that's really holding this card back from being as good as it can be, obviously, is the speed. Uh, you know, on a Packers team team with Sprinter having it being a 93 speed powered up. You know, we could it could be better, but right now as it stands, it just doesn't really fly off the wall like that to me. Now, Justin Coleman, next card in, in question, is actually a very good card. 93 speed, 94 excel, and agility, 93 jump, 92 play rec, 95 man, 94 zone, and 93 press. This card is amazing. I am really happy I got this card. Uh, I, did, I finally got his power up back. Uh, I just need to get this card upgrade um right now and i've i've done a little bit of moving around just seeing what he looks like with power up pass and right now uh once i do get this card um with all the chems and max though and with shaker uh he's actually a 99 overall slot cornerback so um he'll probably end up being my regular starting slot corner if not maybe my second slot corner and he'll be like my third my starting my third cornerback because once i get richard sherman's upgrade he's going to be a 99 and then I'll have 399 overall corners. And then I'll have Shaquille Griffin. Um, I'll give a team update once I get all those cards. So uh, stick with me on that. Uh, I actually have a new team update that I'll probably release tomorrow. Be keep in mind, before you talk about the team, uh, when I do release it, this is before the new card upgrade. This is before the new upgrades. I filmed this. I, I recorded this video uh, the night before. And then Michael Pierce, he's not shown on the um, picture here, but this is his card. Um, so he's a 95 overall. He is a run stopper DT, uh, 97, 78 speed, 87 excel, 93 play rag, 93 strength, 93 awareness, 92 power move, 64 finesse move, which is, ugh. but you know for run defense, 95 block shin, 93 pursuit, 94 tackle, 92 hit power. This card's really good. Um, I don't know. Um, I saw, I see a comment here. I don't think you see it. Yeah, you guys should see it too. Uh, Vikings guys will now have a new D tackle. Um, and I think also he said the, um, oh, he just said Vikings. Um, but yeah, Michael Pierce looking like a good card. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this content update on Madden 21. I'll probably do these at the end of the week. Uh, like, I'll probably do this, like, every Friday just to recap all the content that's come out this week and my thoughts on it um, in case you've missed the in case you've missed it all in question because I do want to focus on, like, NBA videos and stuff like that. But I will do, I will not neglect Madden. I probably just won't upload as much. Uh, unless it is a team update, then I'll upload those whenever I can. But that's going to be the end of this video, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the, if you guys do enjoy the content, uh, also, um, comment your thoughts about the content, uh, in question. What do you think about all this stuff? But until next time, I'm out. Peace.